Hi, my name is James, and I'm not an astronomer, but I just got my new Celestron 6E, 6SE telescope from the UPS guy, and I'm about to open up the box and make sure it's not all broken and stuff, and hope that I am able to uh, get it all fitted together and be able to use it. So here we go. I already cut the box. Oh look, there's another box inside the box that needs to be cut open. So we're going to do that. Well, the outside box looks like it's been beat up pretty good. No offense to UPS. Sure enough, there's some other boxes inside that box that need to be opened. Okay. Here's what's going to happen. We're going to set this box on the floor, and then we're going to start opening the other boxes that are inside this box. First of all, we have this package of materials here. There's a, there's a uh, CD in it, if you can see, and booklets. I'm assuming this is, uh, you know, operating manuals and uh, Celestron uh, software. Here's the smallest box that was inside the box that was inside the main box. Whole lots of filler in there too. Bubble wrap. I love this stuff. You love bubble wrap? I love bubble wrap. Look. I mean, who doesn't love bubble wrap? Okay, anyway. Okay, here's what's in here. This thing in here, which is the red dot scope, which is the red dot thing, uh, I guess, to. Uh, point out what you're looking at. And this thing here says star diagonal one and a quarter inch. And you can see that that is a diagonal one and a quarter inch mount in a package. You have to leave that in the box for now. This thing here, which appears to be a level that probably goes on the tripod, I'm guessing. That's a bubble seat. I don't know if you can see it. See, see it's a bubble level. It's got a sticky thing on the bottom and it's a little bubble level there. Anyway, moving along. Am I doing a good job already, Kate? Mm-hmm. You are. Okay. This is the eyepiece, obviously. It says Celestron. I hope that's good. I did a lot of research before I bought this telescope. And for where I live, I don't live in a big city. I live in a small town. And there's not an enormous amount of light pollution, but there is light pollution. So then, um, I decided this would be the best one for me. It, again, it's the Celestron 6 SE. And, uh, So, I hope it is the best one for me. Because I just spent a lot of money on it. It's not. Sorry. Anyhow, I, start, I researched um, all the, the major telescope brands. And I did that over a period of weeks. And weeks. My wife, you ran to my wife, Aubrey K. Don't tell her that I bought this. She didn't tell you. What? <laughs> Here we have a bunch of phones. I'm guessing it's going to be a good thing to hang on to this phone to store this this uh, in because of course this is the telescope. And sure enough, right inside there, there's a telescope. Here, ladies and gentlemen, before your very eyes, I have unpacked the telescope. So see then, 
Nothing up my sleeves. Presto. This box here is the last box that was inside the box that was inside the big box. Are you with me there? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> We're going to open this box. I have a suspicion that inside this box that was inside the box that was inside the big box <laughs> is the tripod that the, uh, the telescope sits on. So we will see. I'm so excited about this. I'm, I, I'm, I didn't mention I'm 64 years old. I've never had a telescope before. I've always wanted to have a telescope. Always been interested in astronomy. Um, and so, being 64, you start to think, maybe I should get some of the things now that I've always wanted. And so, I was able to get this now, which I'm thankful, so thankful for. Because I've always wanted one, and now I've got one. And it didn't hurt anybody. <laughs> so there. And sure enough, just as I suspected right here, right out of the box that was inside the smaller box that was inside the big box, is the tripod. And it does appear, as they say, to be a sturdy tripod, which is good because who doesn't want a sturdy tripod, you know? I mean, seriously. So here we go. Here's a, here's a small box that was inside the tripod box that was inside the box that was inside the big box. And I'm going to open that up, and I'm guessing what's in here is something. There's something in there for sure. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, what we have here is a little tray that goes on the tripod that was inside the box, that was inside the smaller box, inside the big box, that needs to be cut. At this point, we're going to open up the instructions. I know, I know, it is not a man thing to open the instructions. But in this case, it's a fairly expensive and delicate instrument, and I, do, I just feel like it's going to be necessary to look at the instructions. So I don't want to give up my man card here, but I'm just going to have to look at the instructions. I'm sorry. I'm back. Um, I read a little bit of the instructions. Actually, what we're using here is the quick start guide. Um, and so then what I'm going to do right now, this thing that you see right here, this is the top of the tripod. What you cannot see is that I have fully extended the legs so that the tripod, uh, the legs are all the equal length. And now we're going to put this little puppy right here on the bottom of the tripod. This is this is a uh, what do they call it? An accessory tray. We're going to put it on here like so. We're going to put this little nut on the bottom that you can't see because the camera's up there and this is down here. But you can hear it probably. And now it fits perfectly to the tripod as though it were made to fit this tripod. We are back. Um, since we spoke last, um, we went to the store and we got eight AA batteries because um, I don't have the other battery pack yet for the, for the telescope. And I'm having a little trouble getting the uh, battery here to go back on to the telescope the correct way. Um, also, um, another news, my little dog Gilly, he doesn't like the sound that the telescope makes when it was, while, while it was uh, uh, moving it up. Once I started it, moving it up, so I could put the rest, there we go, finally, okay. So, so there's that. Um, okay, then we're continuing on to read the instructions here. The next thing here on the quick start guide says, uh, slide the star pointer finder scope onto the mounting platform as shown above. Tighten the screws located, located on the side. And sure enough, there we go. And so now we're going to use this little screwdriver to tighten these little screws. Not over tighten, just to tighten them until they're gently tight. So that's a good rule of thumb always. Okay. 
That's done. So that's step number 10. Step number 11 is insert the silver barrel of the diagonal into the visual back as shown above. Shown above. Shown above. Uh, tighten the silver screw to secure it. Okay, here we have the diagonal that's in the box, that was in the box, that was in the small box, that was in the middle sized box, that was in the, the regular box, that was inside the main box. And it's in a patch. You see that you can see this in the patch. The diagonal in the package right here. Just gotta get my fingers to work the package. While I'm doing all of this, my uh, lovely and talented assistant, um, RBK, is um, downloading uh, Starry Night software so that hopefully we'll be able to use this sucker once we get it set up. Okay, then there's a cap. There was a cap on this, and there's a cap on this. So we're taking the cap off of this. This screws. Oh, that screw under there. It's like that. And you can see, clearly you can see that um, my height that we're going to have to lower the tripod a little bit and make sure it's level and it'll lower for me to be able to see into this eyepiece for sure. It just depends. Pull that cap out. Next. Oh, next time is to tighten it up. See, tighten it up right there. Tighten it up. Uh, tighten the screws. Next time, insert the silver barrel of the 25 millimeter eyepiece into the diagonal shown above. As shown above. As shown above, tighten the silver screw inset to secure. And more caps we have to loosen but that's not a problem uh, and we like to say here in East Texas that is no hill for a porch climber so there we have eyepieces in there so clearly uh, ladies and gentlemen uh, we have successfully assembled and set up this telescope so the next time you see me with this telescope, we're probably outdoors and we'll be uh, trying to, uh, you know, figure out how to operate it. So until then, love you, bye. Okay, here we are in the backyard with the new uh, Celestron 6SE, uh, Nexstar 6SE uh, telescope. Um, I've got it all assembled now and uh, got it out here in the backyard. I know you're thinking, what are you doing back in the bright sunshine? Well, I'm not really going to be looking at any stars in the sunshine, but just for the purposes of this video, I'm going to show you um, how it looks all set up and ready to go here in the yard. Um, the brains of the whole thing is right here in this handheld uh, um, thing. It looks like a phone sort of, but uh, this is the handheld controller. It makes everything work. Um, the own off switch is right here for the, for the machine. Um, there's this, this nice little uh, bubble level that they send you to put onto the thing so you can get it really close to level. Um, I'll show you that in just a minute. But anyway, you can see that uh, this thing here makes it go up and down and, uh, you know, to either side. So you can uh, zero in your objects and then it has a thing called Skyline. And I got to tell you that I'm not so uh, familiar with it yet that I can get it all to work exactly right. But I have uh, been able to see the uh, rings around Saturn and uh, the moons and Jupiter and, and some really great things with it um, overnight. So. Um, uh, I'm really happy about that, and as I go, I'll learn a lot more about this. Also, you can buy um, this uh, this DC power supply for the camera. It's called the uh, Celestron uh, Power Tank, I believe. Anyway, it's got uh, a lot of nice features on it, ways to charge it. You've got a, um, outputs here for uh, charging uh, USB uh, type chargers, and 12-volt uh, DC that you can plug from here. Um, 
into here on the power supply and uh, it's got a, also a couple of flashlights on it here, a bright one, and then this one here for, um, obviously with the red filter on it, to, uh, for night, you know, for night viewing without uh, messing up your eyes. Um, also, the thing comes with uh, a little tray down here to hold your, uh, your accessories, you know, your uh, extra lenses, filters, and whatnot. So, uh, it's a really nice setup. It's something I've wanted since I was a, a little bitty boy, and uh, I'm so happy to have it now.